Happy Independence Day, everybody. I wasn't expecting to make this video, but uh, the Lord put something on my mind just a little while ago, and it seemed pretty good for a video format, so here goes. Um, I was thinking about, uh, someone was asking a question online about why do some people get direct religious experiences, revelations, visions, that kind of thing, and other people have to take it on faith, listening to the revelations of others, and so on like that. And what came to my mind was that when you really think about what it is to believe in God, believing in God as the creator of the universe, what you have is you're going to have to believe not just in your own spiritual experiences, but also the spiritual experiences of other people who are your contemporaries, and also the spiritual experiences of people who have been around in the past. More or less because God created everything and has always existed, you kind of have to believe that he's not going to just start interacting with people exclusively with you. And if you're going to have to accept all three of these particular things anyway, it can make sense in some in some cases to begin with believing in the experiences of others rather than the experiences of yourself. More so those that are historical than those that are your contemporaries, because it establishes the character of God going backwards in time to you know the beginnings of recorded history. And once you've established the character of God, then you're in a much better position to determine if uh, what you experience in your own life is in fact God and not something else, if that makes sense. And so, and you can kind of, and you know, through that lens of the historical interactions of mankind with God, you can then gain, you know, some perspective. You can determine whether you should be believing the contemporary uh, statements of other people or the experiences that you personally have in your own life. And you can sort of sift through them on that basis, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so this is just an interesting meditation on the nature of faith, and I hope this was something that you found you know, edifying. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear about it. And once again, happy 4th of July. God bless.